Hello all, this is another assignment from the data structure fundamentals one, this is assignment one one. These are the three questions from assignment number four we need to answer. How to take input a string from a user? This simple, we have to take a string input, so we have to declare a variable of string type and then we have to use C, which is object of std library. And namespace std library and then we use c and then we use the variable name like we already declared string variable and we will use variable name so the input given by the user will be stored in the variable and we can also verify it by printing out again it's as simple as this one okay we the header files and then uh, we will declare and a variable and we will use C object along with operator and then we take input from user and it will be stored in the user input string with the string as a multiple words and using have spaces as well then we will use get line function and we will pass C object as the first argument and then variable as where we want to store the input as a second argument, like example, get line C in and user input. Okay, this is a function. And I declare it in main function itself. Okay. What is the significance of null terminator character in character as the symbol? Is known as null terminator and it is a special character of ASCII value zero, and it is basically used to indicate null and termination is in nothing but end of the string arrays, character array string, whatever it is. And it is basically used to mark as a end of the string array or character array. When we low end of the array or character, or character array string, then we can uh, it will easy to perform manipulation operation like whatever um, adding can get or copy print. You can like do multiple operation by whenever we got null time made in the sequence of characters, then we know that it is the end of the character array okay this is the it just indicates the character array is terminated it is ended null terminal marks is the end of the string and string length functions through the characters of array until they encounter null terminate to determine the length of the string we can determine the length of the string by using we, until we encounter we will use an alternate we will calculate the length of the string string manipulation copy and cat concrete concrete net string we are copying string and when we are adding strings together we will start by null terminate I'm printing the string and we know that it will be when we encounter an alternator we know that it is end of the string and it will start printing from beginning to till it reaches the null terminator what is palindrome how to find it palindrome what is a pairs or number it might be a uh, character it might be a number of it might be alpha numeric as well mm, both combined of both when the string looks initial position and then we when we reverse the string and it will say look as the same as earlier this, whatever this type of strings are will be called as palindrome okay how to find it in programming language we can we have to compare starting starting in that element and end of that element and we have to reduce and we have to go towards the center and then we, we have to compare each L data element from starting position to end position and then towards inward the towards the center another 
by the region right index and increasing left index we have to compare again like that we have to do till center if it is comparison is true towards the center then it will be palindrome if any of the data element not, comparison is not matching then it will be written as a false it won't be palindrome thing okay if it is a number type of string then we have to convert it into string if it is a already string format then no, no need to convert okay let's keep checking comparing and from the source of sender this is how we do declare left index as zero as it is a zero index and then right index as a length minus one and we are while well left is less than right the left index is less than right index and then we will compare two data elements if the comparison is not equal then we will return a false if it is equal then we will vary the indexes like we will left will be increased right will be decreased towards the center and then we will compare again and then we will compare again like that till the center we will keep comparing the data elements if it is true then we will return true and the given thing is palindrome that's all thank you one and all hope my three answers are clear